All right. Hey guys, it's Rachel with Mr. Nola's Glitter. Um, we seen you live in Facebook this morning. So I um, wanted to um, pop on here. We're gonna do some little leopard swirl or whatever. And um, I'm gonna show you some things and we're gonna do some things. So I'm gonna wait for a few of you guys to hop on. Um, I let everyone know that we were, um, I just posted in Facebook that we were going live. So we're gonna wait for a few people. Let me remind, um, let me get my, my friends to come on. All right, so hey guys hey 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 good good all right so this was the cup that i showed you guys this morning um it is now perfectly epoxied um ready for the next step this is our black friday glitter this is on sale um it's mg13 it's called satsuma it's a holographic rose gold it's beautiful and um you can combine that with the 13 percent off that we have running on mr nola's glitter today for friday the 13th um Thank you. Um, so um, we're gonna show you how to do make something really pretty with this. I've already printed my leopard spots. Um, I have uploaded those into our um, file section on Mr. Nola's Glitter. So there's two different ones. I saved them as a JPEG. So it's top spots and bottom spots. So you can just bring that into um, whatever cutting machine that you use and you can either trace it or um, or create, an, uh, create your own file from that. Just um, trace it or use the color thing or whatever. Not, I forget how you do it in Cricut, but pretty much the same thing. So, um, yeah, so you will um, be able, so I used, the colors that I used for my spots are, oh my God, they're so pretty. You can't really see it right now because it's um, it has the transfer tape over it, but it's like a, <coughs> excuse me, it's like a really um, soft holographic gold and um, mauve color, so it's really pretty. The gold I got from Jersey Girl Vinyl years ago. I'm a vinyl collector, I collect all kinds of stuff, and the mauve is from um, Cricut. So most of the time Cricut um, vinyl is crappy, but it's gonna go under epoxy, so it doesn't matter to me. Um, so, um, LaShawn, no, I don't have one on Chevron. I've never been able to perfect a Chevron. I do other things. Um, I'll try that though one day. Um, so, um, and then I have this one, um, or sorry on here. So this one, um, I did before. Um, and so I'm going to finish this. So most of you guys know that watch my videos, I do these in steps. So I'll show you how to do this on a video and then I'll use it for another video and do another step on it. Um, Hey, Melissa. Um, and then I'm just going to, I just build up until I'm like, Hey, that looks pretty cool. So what we're going to attempt today on this cup after I show you how to put the spots on um, on this cup we are going to Milky Way ish um, the blue over here okay so um, we'll be and I'll show you everything that we're going to use to do that okay all right so let me put this back on my turner my turner's wobbly it, it looks like I got a piece of epoxy under the bottom so I'm gonna have to jag it up all right so first things first this is our um this is our satsuma cup that we epoxied this morning all right um i have my so when you download the file it'll be um in a square i think it's 10 inches um you can make them bigger smaller um i made them that size and i saved them the same exact size it'll look it'll fit perfectly on a 20 ounce so you don't have to resize if you don't want to um you Sonia you can um you can go look in our file section on our Facebook page and I uploaded the spots okay um and then I just cut them out in two different color vinyls and so um I'm just gonna I know a lot of people use glitter for that um but I have a tendency if I start out one size I either get really big or really small um so it's kind of looks weird so um i just cut them out in vinyl and i think it uh, it works for me okay um so then i cut them in like little little piecey parts so you don't have the whole thing so i'll just grab one um and i will pull the backing off of them so let's see well, let's pull you down here let me move this out of the way whoops sorry 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 <gasps> No, I wasn't even over there and that happened. All right, so I'm going to face you down. I'm going to 
hook stand here. Sure, Donna, you can just type in Mr. Nola's Glitter on Facebook and it'll bring you directly to our Facebook group. But in the description when we get done, I'll put um, um, I'll put the, the link so you can definitely go over there. All right, so let's see. I'm waiting for it to catch up so we can see where we are. So none of these are perfect, um, only because leopard spots are not perfect themselves. All right, so you should be able to see that right here. Let me move this up. Oh, here, okay. So let me wait. I, I hate that there's such a big lag, so I can't see if you got if you're on point. All right. Yeah, I like the um um the this glitter is um MG13. It's called Satsuma. So it's like a rose gold holographic. The cup stand I do not. Um but um I I will link where I got it. This is um this is my stand from the Cup Turner. Uh Jamie and her husband um they do um they do 3D printing, and this is one of the accessories that they print, and I love it. Um, so, yeah. So, this is um, MG13 Satsuma. Thank you. All right. Okay. So, um, the first thing I've done, I've already pulled off some spots. So, I'm going to turn it this way because um, that way I have a little bit control. So, I'm just going to lay my spots wherever I see fit. My cup is epoxied smooth already, thanks to um, thanks to that that fabulous um, epoxy that's super quick to set. Get it quick set. Um, oops. See, that's why I cut them in smaller spots because if you if you touch the cup at all, it's gonna stick where it's at, and I didn't really want that, but. We're just gonna roll with it, all right? So then I'm just gonna start laying out um, where, um, yep, I pre-layered them. Yep, so that, so when you get, when you download them, you'll get the top spots and bottom spots. The bottom spots are what you'll see gold here, and the top spots are, are the mauve ones. Yeah. Oh, did you get it now? So then I'm just going to go through and put these spots wherever I want. So, my transfer tape was brand new, so it's kind of super sticky. Don't go there. No. So you can put them as close together as you want or as far away as each other. You can put some, um, you can put some plain dots without the circles or um, Laura, this epoxy that I've used is um, by Stone Coat. It is called a Quick Set. It is one of those um, epoxies that's set up in about an hour and a half. Um, I will use this on all of my cups and all of my layers until, um, hey Rebecca, until I get to the top coat. And then I will use um, just a regular epoxy with UV protection um, over the top of it. All right. So, for those of you that normally like buy everything from Mr. Nola's, um, it is an epo it is epoxy that we will be carrying in uh, on our in our online store, um, and it will be added oops, next week. Not much at all. Um, I just sh I just explained how I cut all my little pieces out, um, and we're just gonna add. I'm not gonna do the whole cup, guys, because I mean y'all don't need to watch me lay vinyl for sure so we're gonna move on to something um, we'll get a couple of them down and if you have something on there that you don't like you just use your little weeding tool or whatever and move it any which way but oh, I hope y'all didn't hear my stomach growl that was crazy oops so I will bring up close so it's very um, it's very light Hey Megan, so it's not like it's totally in your face, so it's very feminine, I think. 
All right, Aurora, thank you. Yes, it is. Um, it's our. It's the new epoxy that we will be carrying. That's what's on this cup right now. So you see how um, soft and um, beautiful. So the mauve and the gold, like picks up the golds and the pink and the um, glitter under it. So I think it's just super pretty. You see how like delicate that looks? <laughs> Say, I'm sorry, I'm busy. Let's see, let me make sure. Let's get you down just a little bit closer. Maybe you can watch. I really hope that you guys can see that color because it's super pretty. So then I'll just go through my stack and find another piece that has some stuff cut out. Um, like I said, I keep them, I cut them out because sometimes they'll lay down and like this one right here, I don't necessarily want that spot there. So I will just peel that up. But once it touches the cup, it sticks there. Hi, Wendy. Oh, thanks, Brittany. All right, so I will peel the back off of this here. So why I'm peeling off the vinyl, um, if you guys did not know, today is Friday the 13th, and um, Mr. Nola put on a sale in the store, so um, and both um, in store and online. Um, everything is 13% off. No codes needed. Um, with, but you have to spend at least $13. So once you put $13 worth of um, glittery goodness um, in your buggy, um, the price will reflect that. So it's 13% off. Um, the um, the um, Friday the 13th glitter is MG13 Satsuma. Um, I think it's on sale, I don't know, $5. $5.99, but then you get take 13% off, so it makes it around five bucks, I think. I think, I don't know. Um, um, and yeah, and so that'll be, um, and it'll go on for 13 hours. So you have to like one o'clock in the morning um, for the sale to still be good, okay? So if you have been eyeballing something, go ahead and grab you something. Um, if you like this glitter, go ahead and grab you a bag of that because it's super pretty. This is like one of our most um, un underrated colors, this rose gold hollow. Uh-oh. Well, pretend like you didn't hear it, Emily. Yes, the glitter under here is um, Satsuma. Let's see, can I put that there? Will y'all be able to see that there? How about that? Can y'all see that? That's what I'm using. <laughs> All right, so like I said, I'm not gonna, I'm not, we're not gonna do this whole cup because it takes me a while for placement. Um, I'm weird. I second guess everything. But so then we're going to go on to another um, another leopard cup that's really popular out and about. I don't know who come up with it or what it's called, but it's kind of like a Milky Way leopard swirl thingy madoodle. Um, so it's like a little bit of everything all in one. So we'll show you how we'll show you how to do that. And if I see some spots, I'm not going to get rid of these single spots that don't have things on it because I'll go back and fill holes with them later. So I don't want to like cut them off, but I want them to get out of the way. Right. All right. Let me put this one right here. So this is the most time consuming part is placing your spots and fighting with um, Cricut vinyl. It's so pretty. Dang it. Get on there. There you go. All right, so I'm going to save the rest of those spots. Yep, absolutely, Rhonda. Rhoda, Rhoda. All right, so that's where we are so far. So you see how pretty that is? I'll make sure to show you guys um, the picture of it when it's um, totally done. I'll set it as the um, the background picture for the for the video, so you guys can come and back and see. All right. Hey, Ashley. So that's where we are for here. Okay. So you guys get it. 
Um, this is going to be gorgeous, um, gorgeous, gorgeous. Now, I don't know what what color glitter I'll, or vinyl I'll use to put a name on it or whatever, but um, it's just like so, to me, it feels like it's very elegant, right? It's like a soft, it's like a soft leopard, not not those super in your face like this one, um, the one that we're fixing to show you. Yeah. So it's just, um, it's very, it's, with the holographic and the matte kind of, which I think, um, it's not really matte, it's just like luster, I think maybe it's what it's called, I'm not sure. Yeah, quick coat, how's that? Do you like that quick coat, Lisa? Um, I love it, I love that you, um, you can get to the next step really fast, all right? All right, cool. So I'm gonna set you up a little bit higher. Hey, it's me. <laughs> um, let's see if I can get you higher so I can get my turner under there. And then we are going to, um, we're going to do some stuff. I need it to be this way because I am that handed. All right, so I'll move you here. Um, it is a rose gold. It's like a coppery. It's more um, rose than gold, but it's, let's see if I can get you a good um, look into, did I tape it closed? What did I do with this? Oh, my jar. So there it is. So it's like a coppery rose. It's like a coppery rose, rose gold. Um, it cannot be used as a final coat. No. Um, because there's no UV protection in it. So if you're um, if you're doing art, yes. If you're doing tumblers, no. Okay. So that's what the that's what it looks like. All right. All right. So we have this. I think you guys can see that. And I need it to go the other way. There we go. All right. So for this, we're going to wing it. Let me get some epoxy mixing so we can start that really fast. One second. Do I even have an epoxy? Yikes. I don't know if I have epoxy. Sorry, just watch the pretty cup for a second, guys. I'm coming. Epoxy, 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 epoxy. Oh, I do. All right. I do, I do, I do. Just have to measure it. Mm -hmm. One second. I wasn't prepared and I don't have a helper. Let me get some gloves on real quick. Ugh. All right. Um Um, I used what kind of transfer paper I used. Um, I don't know what kind it is. I'll show it to you. It is, um, it's my favorite transfer paper. I don't remember where I got it. It looks like this. This is the transfer paper I use. I don't know where I got it from. There's no tag on the inside. So I don't, I don't know. I don't know where I got that from. All right, my popsicle stick. Um, yes, we will have, Jerry, I do know that. I just have to look. I'm not sure. Um, let me look it up, and I'll find out for you. Oh, you know, I, there's things in my epoxy. There's a thing. <sighs> Sorry, guys, I wasn't prepared. That's kind of like the story of my life. I'm 
measuring without pumps. Y'all know how hard this is for me. One second, we'll be back over there and I'm gonna explain what I'm doing. I'm sorry for the lag. But look at the pretty cup. This is probably way too much epoxy now that I see it. Oh wow, this is a lot of epoxy. Okay, well, it is what it is. Son of a beep. All right, so ow, just turn this on. Paper towel. Hmm. All right, cool. That's mixing. So we're gonna. Sorry, 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 sorry. Um, this paper on Amazon, the transfer paper. I think so. Six fifty one or um, there's another JP JP blanks JP blanks or something. I think that's maybe where I got it from. Okay, so for this cup, um, I used. The glitters I used were the snowball toppings. It was um, Imperial Woodpecker and um, Aquaberry snowball toppings, which is the irregular cut. I kind of swirled it a little bit ish. Um, and then I just did, I cut the same spots um, like I did the other one with just like brown and copper and put them on the brown spot. Okay. Um, so. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to attempt to swirl in the blue section here. So I have some little mixing cups. I'm gonna break down some stuff in really quick. Let me move this back just a touch so you can see what's in my cups here. These are just, um, these are actually cups I, I got from, I think, TumblrCon, uh, I think. Can y'all see? Um, and then I have, um, I have some micas. I'm not sure what colors I'm gonna use exactly. That's a red gold, that might look pretty. Um, rich blue, regular blue, and lake blue, which lake blue looks pretty. Um, and then I might even actually mix a little bit of glitter into this. So um, we're gonna play like mixology type thing, okay? So I want some of this lighter blue so I'm going to open this bag of mica, which was opened somewhere, and I'm going to put it in my cup here. Just a little scotch. Um, and I'm gonna keep, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut these. Nope, I'm not gonna cut these because those are taller cups. I'm gonna take a little bit of this Aquaberry Junior and I'm gonna mix it into there. So I want mica and glitter in that one. All right, so I'm gonna do a little scotch of that. All right, um, clearly somebody put the wrong lid back on here. That's okay. Um, the white, I'm gonna be using um, Cajun Sparkle, the gold, because it's got gold in it. So I want it to be, I want it to pull out that gold right here, okay. All right, and I'm gonna put a little, I'm gonna put a pretty big, because I want this super, super, super white so and i'm also going to put a couple drops of white alcohol ink in that as well to make it really white but like look look how pretty that um that cajun sparkle is on your gloves it just calls it like really 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 pretty yeah isn't that awesome yeah um and then i'll do the red gold because I think I want to bring some gold out. And if you look, the, the light hits that every once in a while and it brings out this, not red gold, is this red gold? Yeah, um, really brings out that um, rich gold. Uh, and I think that'll be plenty for that. And maybe, yeah, don't do like me and wipe it on you, okay? Um, Then I'm gonna take some rich blue, I think. And I think that'll be plenty. And that's probably way too much. Um, but I have a lot of epoxy, so I'm gonna call one of the girls in and have them do a mold um, for me. And maybe add some of this vanilla orchid into that blue. Cause it's kinda like a purpley, but I wanna give it just a little shimmer, shimmer, shimmer. In that okay all right that's done 
All right, let me check the epoxy and then we'll mix it up. See where we're going over here. I'll go ahead and mix this the rest of the way so I can talk to you guys. Okay. All right. Oh, Kraken. The Kraken cup is cool. All right, yep. So this is a lot of epoxy. Oh, and my stick just broke. So I'm going to have a lot left over. I'm going to... Um, but I'm going to have one of the girls come in. I have a cup that needs to be epoxied. Kelsey! So I'm going to have a little bit as my um, carrier. Will you, um, will you suit up? And I have a lot of epoxy left. I need to put epoxy on that um, uh, wolf cup. Sure. All right. And... Some in here, some in here. And yeah. that's a final coat, it's not quick set? Right. Yeah. Um, yep. Yeah. I made a, I didn't, I didn't have pumps, so plenty. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Um, so it's plenty. All right, so. Yep, I'm going to try. That's the plan, Helen. Um, but if you've watched my channel before, um, you know that most of the time things do not go as planned. So, that is the plan. Um, do you sell pink mica? If not, can you get some? Um, Bambi, we have we have pink in our mica sets. The only ones that we ca carry standalone is the Cajun Sparkle. Um, but that might be something that we can consider adding in the future. Uh, I just don't know um, how 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 future. Yeah. So if you are enjoying what you see so far, um, give us a thumbs up. That would be awesome. Uh, if you haven't already, like and subscribe to our channel. I try to uh, go live at least once a week. Um, you would have had twice a week, but um, I recorded a whole video tutorial on Monday and it didn't record at all. Uh, and so I was like, I'm going live, so at least I know it's recorded. Um, let's see. Oh, awesome. Cool. I, I used the um, gold Cajun Sparkle. That is my favorite, the gold one. And I'm going to show you guys how beautiful that is. It's like liquid gold. Okay, Melissa, thank you. Look at that. So this is the this is the Cajun Sparkle Gold. Look at uh, how pretty. Oh, it is so delicious. Yes. Yep, check out my channel. I have a um, I have a shipwreck Kraken cup. The Kraken is climbing up the side of the shipwreck. And this is the blue. Ooh. Stir slowly, guys, when you're doing this because um, if the if you have a lot more um, micas than uh, epoxy at first, it's gonna splash up everywhere on you. All right, so I'm just making sure I get down in the cracks and crevices and get all that mica mixed up. Same thing with this, because um, my cup has a little lip down here, so I'm just making sure I got it all mixed up. These colors are already gorgeous. All right, and let's see, I'll put these up here, get them out of the way maybe. See if I can not make a mess. Okay, and so this is the dark blue. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this little bit of epoxy, like little teeny tiny bit, um, and I'm just going to put a thin layer on my cup. 
that's going to be like my carrier layer so my micas and um the my swirl and all this other stuff that i'm going to do will have something to sit on top so it's not going on a dry cup okay you don't need a lot at all just a teeny tiny bit you just want enough to move it so it'll have something to sit on top you're welcome so just a little bit just make sure you get it all the way around I really want to concentrate on the where the blue is um, I don't I'm not necessarily need worried about it being on the gold part because um, I'm not really gonna put anything on there but just to, for the sake of keeping the cup even I'm just gonna put it over the whole thing yes Jerry we will have a small size of the epoxy so you'll be able to get the um, half half of a quart I guess that's what you call it so you can try it out and it retails for about $25 so um, you can get you can try out the the quick coat to see if you like it so yes we will have the small one anything else no ma'am thank you very much I appreciate it Just this one? Um, do you see anything else that oh is there anything else over there what about the greatest storm one no it already has a coat you can maybe put the rest in a mold or you don't have to do anything with it yeah, as long as that one has, um, as long as that the wolf one has it, that's good. What Bye. about this drip one? Which one? It has a coat on it already, oh. too. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I, I mixed a lot. Um, maybe a mold? Yeah. Maybe one of the straw topper molds? Yes, it's called Quick Coat. It's called, um, it's from um, uh, Stone Coat is the name of the product is the name of the of the um, epoxy and it is called quick coat so this is this is what the bottle looks like I don't know if you can see that I'll show you before the live is over but it's called um, stone coat countertops and it is called quick coat and this is the um, this is the fast set this is the one that sets up fast okay so this is, that is what I used on that um, other cup that we did. I was able to get that whole cup done this morning since I've been at work. Okay? We will have it next week. It shipped today or yesterday. Yesterday. And so we should have it hopefully Monday or Tuesday at the latest next week. So I'm going to change out my gloves and then get me another set of gloves. Thank you, madam. All right. So that, um, that we have one um, thin layer that's all right I'll show you again crap I put a hole in these these I think are um, those blue ones I think are super thin I think I keep ripping it all right um I think I spilled epoxy somewhere I thought I had a paper towel what time is it all right. So let me put my gloves back on. You're welcome. I got you. No problem. All right. No, it smells exactly the same, Jessica. I'm sorry. Freaking a brick. Keep breaking my gloves. Sorry. No, it smells exactly the same. It smells horrible. Both of them smell horrible. Um, it's, I think it's the chemical. Um, um, I think it's the chemical that they use to speed up the um, process. It, sta it has a heat rating of 550 degrees. <laughs> Hi, Christina. <laughs> I have a customer out there that's listening. All right, so we have this. I'm going to turn it this way a little bit. I'm going to move you here. Um, nope. I'm going to move you here. Nope. I'm going to move you here. Nope. Well, what is stuck? There we go. Now we can do you. Now we can move you around. 
I talk really loud. I I, I have a really loud voice. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I um I do have a mask that I normally wear. Uh, I just can't wear it on a live. Yes, ma'am. Baby wipe? No. No. Nope. No baby wipes. Um, but somebody said use tape. Um, do would, we have tape? <laughs> uh, just had it here. Oh, uh -huh. Yes, uh, and it'll get all the stuff out. All right. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with um this blue. Okay. Um, these are, so this blue is this and Aquaberry. It is Lake Blue from, I believe it's from the, I don't know, one of them. And then the other one is the Rich Blue mixed with uh, Vanilla Orchid. So it is going the wrong way. This was very effective. Yeah, I just seen that tip online. So that was kind of cool. All right. I want you to go the other way. Yep, so Stone Coat Quick Set is the one that's, um, that is uh, the one that sets up quickly. Wait. Yep, there it is. All right, so I'm going to take this. When it comes back around, I'm going to start down there, and I'm just going to try to work in the blue. I don't really want to cover up this part. Um, I just want to cover up, I just want to work in the blue section. So it's kind of like trying to do a swirl with your micas. All right, so we got that. Now this is gonna move around because you, um, you have that carrier coat under it, okay? But you wanted to do that because we're gonna, we're gonna move it around even more. Um, I don't think the bubble, I think the bubbles are the same. There's no, um, I don't see any less and I don't see any more. Okay. So that's okay. Your blues are going to run together because you have this, um, that you have this, the coat under it. Okay. I'm going to put in. And put this in the middle here. All right. And I'm going to do the light blue again. And then we're going to do the white. So to do this easily, I like the cup to turn towards me. And I just follow it around. I had a little bit too much on here, but that's okay. All right, so you can see it's got some stuff going on. I got some stuff going on mercy all right so now I'm gonna take my white and I'm gonna add just a touch of white alcohol ink um, this is the big bottle I don't have this other bottle I don't know what happened to it so I don't know where it's at so I added just a little bit of white alcohol ink to this because I really want it to be um, a little bit more white. So you see? So now it has a little bit more white to it. So I am going to add this white right around here.
and then I'm gonna have this white right around here and then I'm gonna put one stripe in the middle and then we're going to um, make it do some stuff with some heat and stuff that's the plan that's the plan we're gonna make it do some stuff with some heat and stuff okay um, the it is called red gold I will let you know what kits these were in um, when I um, get Alyssa to post the descriptions for me she'll let you know what kit you can get these out of okay it might be a little bit too coppery um, I should have maybe went with a lighter gold but um, if my cups were perfect they definitely would not be my cups for sure um, so we're gonna try to tone that down just a little bit um, and then we're gonna do some fun stuff we are going to move all of our thingies to the side I'm going to get my heat gun plug it in let's see which one are we unplugging oops oops please don't spill please don't spill please don't spill thank you very much mm, here Also, if I had my poop in a group, it would not be my channel either. Okay, so I just let my um, I let my heat gun heat up before I start moving stuff around. So see, it's moving over to those dots. So I want to move that out of the way for sure. But I want it to move a little bit over here. So this will drip, this will get drippy. I don't want that over here. I have a lot of concentrated color at the bottom down here. So if I have too much, I will try to magically make it go away. Yeah, you see where that's going there? I'm not liking that. So, get back where you need to go. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to try to wipe some of that off. Look at that. Nothing you can't fix, guys. If it's too much, just wipe it off. Easy breezy. Yep. So. Oh, I don't want you over there. I don't want you over there. All right. So, paper towel. Oh, yeah. I talk to myself constantly. All right. So, let me take the heat back and move this up here. So your cup will probably be a lot more symmetrical than mine. Your colors at the top. I need some more white up there. Um, my bottom was more skinnier at um, between the colors than it was at the top. So that was what. That's where my issues are up here. So up here, it doesn't really look like we have much going on up here. So I will take that. And I'll take a little bit more of this dark blue and put it right in here. So I'm not sure if this is a Milky Way or a what way or a Rachel way or just a messy way. But it'll give you some ideas. If you don't want it covering your leopard spots you can wipe them off it's going to carry over there but look how pretty that is that's like a dirty pour or something in there squirrel so i'm just moving it around from over there because i didn't really want it over there but it is what it is Ooh, kinda, i love it kind of cool that's yeah. awesome yeah and then i'll just move some of those colors at the bottom down here out of here. Are you done with this, Um, 
probably. Do you need some? Yes. Not the white, but you can probably have, and they have glitter in them. This has Ooh. glitter in it, and this has glitter in it. Ooh. This one does not have glitter in it. Okay. I might okay. use a little bit more of this. You need this one, or just oh. the blues? Yeah, okay. Okay. All right. Um, it is uh, uh, blah, 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 rich blue. Oh, the blue under the cup, the glitter. It's aquaberry um, snowball topping. So then, if you really want to, oops, I gave you my clear glitter. I mean, my clear epoxy. Mm -hmm. Son of a. All right, that's cool. So it kind of looks weirdish. Um, but it's kind of pretty. So if you keep an eye on it, you can keep it, you can keep that off of there. So it kind of looks like, um, like a beach in between your leopard, if you want to go it that way. So that, to me, it's more beachy than, um, than a Milky Way, but so it kind of looks like you have a, a beach running through there. So in the future, I would, um, take a little more time and find a um, mica that is a little closer to my glitter color because this one is these were a little bit blue for um, the glitter that I used and it kind of covered most of it up with the exception of some spots so that's okay LaTanya um, I'll have it um, I I'll save it so it kind of, so if you wanted to move a little bit more, I'm not sure if I do, but I mean, just add a little bit more heat. The heat is what makes it move. But I love the gold in here, the Cajun sparkle, because you can really see it shimmering. And the snowball that I mixed in with the mica is really gorgeous too. Making sure there's no bubbles or anything like that. I don't want to keep feeding it because I, I don't really want it to move any more than it already has. So I'll just keep a watch on it for a few minutes. So this will need another coat of epoxy um to even this out i've wiped a lot of it off of the bottom of the spots where i was trying to keep it clean like right there there's needs another spot that needs to be wiped oh. maybe hey susan oh goodness girl i hope you feel better all right so let's see do I have a clear one? We'll give it a whirl. I don't really want to swirl it down since the patterns are like going horizontal. But let's see. Might give it some more interesting a more interesting view I think until um, it sets up you're you're not really gonna be able to see it but I don't know could be wrong but do this enough There we go. Good idea. Thanks, Nikki. What do y'all think? Is that looking better? Um, I um I currently um I have an appointment today at four o'clock. I go to Polished, it's on Manhattan, and um my manicurist is Julie. So wait till you guys see what I have planned for today. Super excited. Let me get another paper towel. I kind of like the patterns that it's creating that way. Yes. The 
this will definitely be a, um, it's definitely giving it some texture uh, and you know of course it'll need another coat of epoxy but I think I like this look at us learning together what do y'all think y'all think y'all like it this way It kind of looks cool. Now I walk away. <laughs> Melissa, you know me. Is that something I can do? Let me follow this around and make sure that all of my leopard spots are revealed. I think I like it, guys. I think I am going to walk away. I think it's... Um... <laughs> I think, um, I think I definitely, it's definitely something, okay, so maybe not a Milky Way, um, but it's a swirl thingy, madoodle, madauber, okay, and I think it looks kind of cool. My only regret is the, um, the copper, the, the red gold, I wish I would have went like more of a, um, a champagne um, no so once this once this is set I'll put a final coat over the top of it so it'll make sure everything is nice and level Jerry yeah I won't um, oops I, have a, I touched it with blue yeah I won't I won't put anything on it right now because um, it'll mess up those um, those swirls she got left over there. Hmm? She got left over there I have copper okay look do you like it? Look at this. Ooh. I did like the lines across. That's really cool. So you can see. Um, <gasps> That's like a water leopard because it looks like a beach cut with a yeah, leopard. Yeah, it does look it's like a, a beach seal. cut. It's, it's a seal. A, a, a seal? Yeah, a uh, water seal. Water seal. Yeah. I have white. Wait, seals are already in the water? Yeah, a water seal. Water leopard. Water seal. Yeah. yeah. Water leopard seal. All right, guys. All right, so. Let's see if I can put you down. You can get back in my face. All right. So, what did you want to see? You wanted to see stone coat, probably. Oh yeah, that's right. No, oh, here we go. Um, so yeah, this is this is the epoxy that we'll have. Um, we'll have for, um, both the quick coat, which is the one that sets up quickly, and then we'll have the regular UV that you'll use as your top coat. They ship today, so you should be able to get them tomorrow. This size is uh, 16 ounce, so you'll get 16 ounce part A, 16 ounce part B, and um, this will retail for about $25. So you can try it. You don't use this a lot. Um, if you are in a hurry and you wanna get to the next step, you use this. Um, if not, you'll just use the regular epoxy, and the regular epoxy, I'm not, don't quote me on the price, but it's a comparable price to whatever we've been using before. And I've been, that's what all of our cups are made for. We've been, this has been in-house testing for over a month, and we love it. So, um, leopard seal, yeah. So, uh, y'all be on the lookout for this next week. Um, if you want to do some research on it, you can. They have a website, they have a Facebook page, they have Facebook groups. Um, wonderful company. Um, and um, yeah, so that's, we're excited. We're excited to be able to offer that. It'll be in store and online, so you'll be able to uh, pick that up um, whenever you need it. So thank you guys for hanging out with me today. I appreciate it. Um, let me take off my gloves and I'll show you up close again the first cup that we did that we, we started working on. I haven't, I'll finish the leopard spots on it um, with the a mauve and the gold holographic. And this is on a Satsuma base, um, which is our Friday the 13th glitter, which is on sale and everything in the store is on sale for 13% off. Um, if you need anything, stop by over there. Um, <laughs> thanks, Nikki. Um, Fat, um, it sets up here in um, Louisiana in about an hour and 45 minutes to two hours. Um, you, It's not something that you want to mix enough. You don't want to, you're not going to cover six or eight cups at a time. You work in small batches because it does heat up fast and it does set up fast. So I do like one, I do three cups max at a time. 
um, but it's in about an hour and a half, an hour and 45 minutes. Um, and in two and a half hours, it's sandable, where you can, if you have bumps or lumps, you can sand it and you can move on to your next step. Yeah. Yeah, they are. They are really cool. Um, we are we are super excited about um, about being in um, business with them and uh, being able to bring their products to you guys. Uh, we've been working on this for quite a while, um, and we're super excited. So, yeah, it is. Um, it you it doesn't. Um, yeah, you can see the glitter coming through. It doesn't. Um, it has a smell, so it do, there is a distinct smell. Um, so just use um, your mask. So this is my, what is it, Razu mask, RZ mask. I normally will wear this, but because you can't hear me, blah, 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 blah. see, but it's cute, right? So can y'all imagine me doing this? Wait, how's it do it? Oh, this. So you can't really hear me, but I normally wear this when we're dealing with the other stuff because it's like super stinky. But I look cute, right? Um, no, I do not sell the cut file. If you join our Facebook group and look in um, our file section, I uploaded it for free. So you can go grab it. Um, and easy breezy. You can go grab it. It's um, the top spot. It's called top spots and bottom spots. So um, one's the top spot, one's the bottom spot. Yeah. Um, so... All right, guys, I thank you for hanging out with me. I have an appointment in a little while, um, so I will be getting off of here. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me today, and um, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Um, yes, I use their regular epoxy, too. I do that. Excuse me. Um, I use the regular epoxy as a top coat. You always have to use regular epoxy over that because there's no UV protection. All right, and it kind of smells weird. So um, it does, it still smells on your cup, yeah. We do not, that is a, um, I can't remember the name of the, the company. Um, it's an RZ mask. So you can find them online. They have, um, they have tons of different colors. I'll get this linked in the description as well. So if you're interested in this mask, you can pick it up. Um, you just need a special, one of the special filters. Melissa, do you know which one it is? Um, number two i think it was this is a yeah an f2 i think you need for um the the fumes for the epoxy yes all right and uh if you have any other questions just drop them below when this cup gets done i'll be sure to take good pictures of it so you guys can see it come join us over on facebook check us out on instagram like and subscribe and uh y'all have a great day i'll talk to y'all later if i can find my mouse i'll turn it off <laughs> bye guys <laughs>